All right, you guys, let me tell you my uh, awesome luck that I have had today. So I made this entire clip. I made this clip right now. I am, I, I feel like I'm stuck in a time loop, okay? So I did this clip. I already did my stuff and everything. Editing, everything went well. And then suddenly my computer told me because I was rendering the clip, right? And the computer was telling me, bro, you don't have no disk space. Literally zero. I wasted two terabytes of data for you guys in general, like because I never delete my clips because I'm a messy like that, you know, I don't know what's going on with me. But anyways, so uh, I, I applied that was like, all right, sure. Wanted to delete a few clips, accidentally deleted the clip that I already made. And since my disc was full, it automatically deleted it. It didn't put it into the recycling bin and I couldn't get it back. And now I'm stuck here again doing the same video again for you guys. That deserves a lot. Anyways, like. uh, yeah, that's the dedication that I bring to the table. Let's get into the game. That's one minute of yapping. I got a college degree. I got a master's degree in yapping, everybody. You guys know this. Anyways, we're in. We're gonna do a perfect speed build today. And I have a little bit of a secret tip, the secret sauce, the secret ingredient, everybody. It's the Moonlight Flurry. It's so good. It's the ascension of revolving strike, revolting strike, something like that. One of these words. I don't know exactly which one it is out of the two, but you know. Uh, this is definitely a very very nice skill to have this is the setup that i'm currently rocking i have more i have about a thousand five hundred in attack about a thousand five hundred into stamina and a thousand into speed which gives us a huge advantage towards our enemies here and it's just wild and uh yeah i'm also rocking the uh glass spirit which means we will have 150 percent less defense which is kind of tough so it's a one and done here and there but you can see uh it definitely buffs the attack and speed thing usually people would put in another flicker dance as a fragment to get a tier 2 uh, out of it, but I think it's not worth it. Doesn't really come out as great. So uh, I put in the Moonlight Flurry, and I'm gonna tell you, it works wonders. It's so good. I'm gonna show you my classical farm route. We're gonna go uh, do a few bosses here and there. I'm gonna show you how it works. So you can start off with Flicker Dance as usual, and uh, look at that. We're gonna do some damage, and that was a one shot, everybody. Please keep in mind that this is very much, very much accessible. Okay, so you can see, look at that, that's tier 5, yeah? This is not my tier 7s and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we do have the focused uh, 5 on it, so... Uh, it does give us an increased critical damage by 23%, which is absolutely wild, by the way, just saying. Um, but other than that, though, really strong stuff. This is accessible. People can get this in the game. You can get this right now if you either have a lot of money or farm. Uh, so, yeah, this is just really, really, really strong. We're gonna start off with Moonlight Flurry showing you what it does. Uh, you kind of go invisible here, and then you're gonna do damage over time, and that's another... That's an 80k. That's easy peasy 80k just like that. And it's just wild to see. The damage has been scaled back up. If you haven't seen the new patch notes that have been released today, go onto the channel and check it out because I've uh, actually already made a video on it. So... Let's do uh, some damage uh, just with the thunderstorm. Now, I always thought that thunderstorm was always the weaker part. You can see I'm literally having trouble right now uh, using uh, anything but the thunderstorm. It's not doing too great. I never liked it. I like the, the look of it and it plays really cool uh, when you take a look at it. Same goes with Ghidorah, but I don't like it. People always overhyped it a little bit too much. So I kind of leave that out. I use the flurry uh, as my number one go-to damaging point and sometimes flicker dance does some nice damage as well so as you can see here it uh, does as well but we are a glass cannon don't forget you can see we're going down but the good thing though is that this build has enough HP uh, to kind of go by you can do a little less HP as well but then you have to start with moonlight flurry all the time uh, what, what makes this speed build, uh, build so interesting right now is that we have regenerate in it so this is a, a, an attack and stamina and speed build where we can use three main components of the game of the stats and use regenerate as well although it did get um it did get nerfed a little bit, but you could literally swap out this one, this crystal, for another one, for a, uh, yeah, a regenerative one, the, the nature crystal. You can do that. So, big test, level 2000. Let's go in there and do that right now uh, and see. Let, let, uh, I might have some tea. I feel funky today. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, get away from this guy first. I'm gonna use Flicker Dance, do some damage at first. That wasn't really too strong. I'm gonna start off with the... Uh, with a Moonlight Flurry and whoa, 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 whoa. That was insane. That was insane amount of damage. You cannot believe this. Have you seen this? 
This is wild. So, uh, yeah, and with almost no damage whatsoever. Uh, the good thing is if you get a little bit more into the uh, into the skills and if you get a little bit more skillful, you will be able to dodge like 80% of the damages that the enemy has to throw in here. So people always think, oh, you only need good stuff to beat everything. Well, on the side note, yeah, that's true. But you can also, like, if, you're, if you don't have that much money at all, you can actually use skill to... Uh, you know, dodge quite a lot of attacks. Like you can do, you can dodge every dragon strike uh, that is in the game very easily. Uh, you can dodge siphons. You can dodge so many attacks that you can bring in there. So it's basically a nice in and out. You have to always watch yourself, watch your step and see. But look at that. Just doing that does enough uh, enough damage. Now, let me show you something. We're not quite done there. Uh, we're not quite done yet with uh, this stuff. So, let me hop onto the board. We're gonna go right over here. Look at this. Check this out. We're gonna bring out the bay. And look at the normal hits. They are wild. So, there's 12k. I've, I've procced. I've, I've peaked 26k uh, with, with the right amount of... Okay, that was unlucky. Uh, where's the where's the good old uh, did they did they drop it? Oh wait, there it was 26k. Uh, let me see. I don't know. I've been quite unlucky with it. There it is, 26k crit. Sometimes you do more. There was another one. So you can do. There was another one and another one. So you can do almost 30k crits on these boulders, which is wild. This is really really insane if you come to think of it. And even the 12k's, man, because we have the speed is quite quite amazing. So we're gonna do a few things here. Let's press. Whoa, that was the wrong one. Let's use the boost. Uh, and see how the damage will be. If anything changes, 26k as well. We're just faster. Uh, you can see uh, our uh, uh, thingy goes down quite uh, quickly here. Um, okay. Now, Awakening doesn't really do any changes, but we have much more uh, criticals as far as I see. You see the damage rose... Rose? Has been risen? I don't know. For about 1,000 to 2,000, which is quite nice as well. Uh, so you can use that. Flicker Dance is a funky one. Sometimes it dishes out amazing amount of damage, and then sometimes it just doesn't. It's a it's a funky one. Uh, it does scale off speed, so you have to see what's going on. Let's use the Flurry Knight. Look at that. Combined with this, the damage almost took out the other boulder as well. Moonlight Flurry is definitely my secret ingredient in this build. Uh, check it out. If you already have it, uh, GG to you. If not, it's not too hard to get because Revolting Strike is really easy to uh, find. And yeah, it's the Ascension. You just have to get it to the higher tiers, and that's when you get the Moonlight Flurry. Anyways, that's me for now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a TikTok video after this, and we will see each other in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. By the way, did you like... I, I just hanged it there, so it kind of doesn't look too good yet, but I will, I will get some lights in the background. I definitely am in need of lighting in this room because these small lights that I have here, they don't cut it. I need more lighting in this place, and as soon as the money arrives, I will, I will start, you know, overhauling this whole room to make it look really more uh, appealing for you guys. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.